Welcome to another tutorial for Rollback RX. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recover data from a snapshot using Rollback RX. So, as you can see, I have a rollback screen opened up here. Um, for the purpose of this demo, I'm actually going to be executing a real uh, virus to crash my system so I can show you guys how to restore uh, my system to a previous snapshot and then go ahead and uh, recover my data file my files itself um, things like the essay document I have here for my English class um, important documents and important letters um, when you restore to a previous snapshot of course it's going to be deleted and this tutorial specifically show you how to go ahead and the, access the virtual drive to uh, recover those data files so I'm gonna go ahead and close up my roll back here and uh, once again, um, please do not try this at home. Um, I have rollback installed on my system, so I'm completely protected. Um, this is for the main purpose of the video. Uh, I'm going to go into my documents where I have my virus folder here. Um, I'm going to execute my virus, and you're going to see my computer is going to completely crash. Uh, it's uh, giving you a bunch of error messages here, and even um, my screen starts flashing. Um, what we're going to do is go ahead and restart our computer and we will take a snapshot uh, of the current system with the virus and then we'll restore our computers. We are going to press the home key to access our sub console over here. Um, so before we roll back our system, we're actually going to go ahead and, like I said, take a snapshot of the current system with the virus so that when we roll back our system, we'll be able to uh, go through our virtual drives, somewhat like going into the future, I guess, to access our uh, files that have been deleted. We're going to go ahead and select Take Snapshot, and we're going to call it, uh, I'm going to call it Infected System. I'm going to go ahead and press Next, and it's done taking a snapshot. So now I'm going to go ahead and select Rollback System. So we're going to select that. And here all my are all my snapshots that I've taken previously or the system uh, has taken with uh, when it was scheduled to. I'm going to roll back to say uh, two or three snapshots back here. I'm going to select number seven here which was a scheduled snapshot. I'm going to press next. So now my computer's restarted and it's restored uh, my computer to a previous snapshot that I selected on the sub console. And as you can see, the virus is completely gone. The system is completely clean. And uh, but you will notice, however, my files that were on the left here, my English essays and my important documents are actually missing. So what we're going to do is show you how to actually go into the virtual drives and access those files and bring them back to the desktop here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my rollback. And I'm going to select Recover Files. And you'll see here you get a few different options how to recover the files. Um, I know the file name I want to recover, for example, uh, in my case I call it Important Document if you want to search for that. Um, I know the file type I want to recover, for example, Documents, PowerPoints, Excel Spreadsheets. Um, another one is I know the file location I want to recover, for example, My Documents. Um, and this one, third one, which is the one that I'm going to show you guys today, is I want to explore a snapshot as virtual drives and recover the file. So I'm going to select that one and I'm going to press next and here it's going to list all my snapshots and we're going to select the infected system one. So that's the one we took a snapshot of before restoring our system in the sub console. Um, and I'm going to press next and it's going to give me a message here once I press next um, asking me to open up the virtual drive or dismiss it. So, like I said, um, the snapshot is mounted as virtual drives. You can find and explore the virtual drives from my computer. Um, we're going to select Open Virtual Drives. And this is the virtual drive that I was talking about earlier where all our files are on there that are missing at the moment. So, just a note, uh, I'm using XP, so it says Documents and Settings. Um, it'll say Program Files for every other Windows and, as well as Windows. Um, but for Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8, instead of Documents and Settings, you usually will see a folder called Users. And inside the Users folder will be the user, all the different users. Um, I'm going to select my user, which is User. And here you can see the desktop, uh, the, my documents, my favorites. And the files I'm looking for were on my desktop. So I'm going to go to the Desktop folder. And you will see all my previous documents are actually in this folder and I can actually drag them onto my desktop. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to copy them onto my desktop. 
simple as that. So as you can see now my documents are back on here. I'm just going to open one up just to show you that it's all there and this is my document that was in there. So that's how you go ahead and recover data using uh, going into the virtual drives. Um, thank you for watching this tutorial on how to use RollbackRx. Be sure to watch our other tutorials on RollbackRx.